Hey, this is the LDM Show, and you know we have to be here at 152nd Street. We are the exclusive uh, interview people here, and I am so humbled. First of all, I got people that I know for years, you know what I mean? Knew him for, for quite a while. I thought he didn't remember me, but he did. So we here for the signing of someone that's in this group is a family. Uh, he's been in my house, been everywhere with us, you know what I say? So this is the greatest gift that I can have to be here with you and your family. And with Lou and all of them, you know, when they email me, said, yo, you're going to be there? I said, yes, I'm going to be here. So, But it's not about me. It's about you. How does this all feel to you? I know it's a lot to take in. It's just like, I mean, it's, it's, it's an honor. It's an honor and I'm privileged to be able to, you know, be here and enjoy this moment we are, you know, showing love to my father, you know. And it's just... You know, it's, it's unexplainable, man. It's just, you know, I appreciate the love, the people who organized this event, Team No Sleep, Louie, you know, the people, you know, and I respect everybody that came out, showed support from day one, you know, and, and it's just awesome to be here together, you know, and to, uh, celebrate, you know, his life and, and this this awesome thing right here, you know. This is a great, it's a big thing, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we got, we got a tribute that we're going to do of videos of backstages that we did together. Just a bug out, me, Lou, and all of us. But we never posted it because it was just us. So, you know, we're going to be posting up. But uh, we got to talk to his twin here a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, TNT now. Yeah, you know, that was, uh, yo, I can't even really, you know, that shit, it, it messed, excuse the language, but it messed with me because that was my brother. Mm -hmm. um, we was little when we met. I'm older than him. And at the time, I was Hector Lavoie's artist. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't know that because they don't know the history of the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? But I was Hector Lavoie's artist. He was George Lamont dancer. And we started, we met up with the Wepa man in India. Mm -hmm. India. And it was India, Mark Anthony, and the Wepa man, which that was who's controlling the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And brought out George Lamont in India. And I was hard, and I was hardcore. And... And Candela loved hip hop, but he had to do the house. Yeah. So he started doing house, but he's a hip hop fanatic. Like he loved hip hop. His thing was hip hop, but he knew that it always get banned in a lot of places and a lot. Of, so he stopped and he let. He always used to say, "TNT, you my biggie and I'm puffy." And that's how we kept it for years. I have the song with him, Jorara, is doing real good. My producer's his producer. We've been together since we was little kids, and I'm here with his son and we do the same for his son. We give him the same love that I have for him, I got for his son. So, you know, that's how I repay him back by showing the same love that I have for him and I still have for him for his son. Right here, right next to me. You know? And I'm telling you, there's a lot of love here. Uh, I know Lou personal and every everywhere we used to go, either he'll be in the background. Um, your dad was actually one of the celebrities that was like, this is the LDM show and pushed me out there. You know, so like with him, Jerry Rivera, all the people that and that he spoke about that I interviewed, they were very humble, you know. And then after a while, I, I, I wasn't starstruck no more. I was like, hey, get out of my way. <laughs> it was family. But if any message for the people that don't know who he is, what would be the one thing you want them to remember him about? All right, before we say that, can I put this down? I'm going to turn it into one of those mimes, you know? No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you want to do your exercise while you got nah, it? Nah, man, stop right there. Nah. <laughs> um, but nah, man, nah, one thing, one thing, well, one thing, like, like, yeah, everybody knows is just his, he was known for his 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 humor. Like, he was funny, man. He was, funny. Yeah. He was just naturally he was funny, you know? He was, he was yo, he was naturally funny. He had, he, he had a good, a good, you know, personality. And, and you know what I mean, and that's one thing that I want everybody to remember him for, like that hard that make it make somebody laugh. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah. Right. Uh, Lou from Team No Sleep. What's what you want him, you know, to be remembered by? I know that we got a lot of stories, but pick one. Oh, well, his music, um, his music is wow, good. his bandera, his bandera, like it, it just it it, it gets you go like crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? It gets contagious, man, and. This is why I needed him. Like this way, he performed for my barbecue for that last oh couple of God. years. Oh, yeah. My birthday. We also supported him in the Brooklyn's um, Puerto Rican uh -huh. Day Parade. Yeah. Yep. You know, with the Team No Sleep family. Shout oh, out yeah. to Team No Sleep family. We can't forget when we were giving out the cans for the um, Puerto Rico that time. Yeah. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Candela has done done so much for the community, man. That you know he deserved this, and it was an honor to see his son Giovanni that to actually pull the thing just so we could see Can Candela's way. That's a blessing, man. Yeah. And then we have best friends. Yes. So we nice. 
we go way back. He did my son's fundraiser. I was doing a fundraiser for my son. And he, my son has salvo palsy, and he was like, I'm going to go there, I'm going to go. And he went, and he gave my son a, a glasses, like with the king, and I yep. still got it. That was years ago. Yeah, and, and, and he, 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 he spoke was about very, he was very yeah. giving. He spoke he about very giving. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He was yes. very giving. Very yeah, giving. He, he even did uh, the Pride, the yeah. Bronx Pride of event with Apollonia. Yeah. He did that a couple of times. Yeah. He was always giving. So if anything about him, he was always a giving person. And because of him, I took my first COVID test because of him, because I was like, I'm not putting that thing on my nose, no, no. And then I'm like, oh, can I just go in without, do no, no, you need to get COVID tested. And I'm like, I was like, Candela, because of you, I'm doing it because of you. And I went to see him in Calgary Barrio and I did it, for, I said, I did it because of you. And he's just talking to me about a, a picando el lechon. And I'm like, <laughs> like, oh shit, he talked to me, I was like, ah! Uh, yeah. We're gonna be putting out an exclusive interview that people didn't know that Candela was going to do with us, the LDM Network. Um, it, didn't, it didn't happen, but I'll talk to you. Maybe you can take it over from him, but it's an exclusive. A great artist and a great friend, a true friend and a beautiful person in the heart. Everybody loved him. Everybody here loved him. All of the family, even him. Got last words to say? He was my brother, man. I ran with him. I, I was like his road manager, basically. Family. You know? His family. Yeah. Last words, last words. Candela, I love you. You here forever. Every time they do Jackson, you right here. They got to look at your name. So you you forever embedded in history. Amen. Amen. Well, my name is DJ Rhythm. First time I met Candela, I was one of his first dancer, background dancer. I did a dance contest. He liked the way I was doing talent thing. He told me I had a lot of talent thing. He invited me to his for his show on the same stage. I, I was nervous because I was a big guy. So back in the day, I don't know what year was that, it was way back. And I was honored, I was a blessed no, to know him. And he was a good, great guy, great friend, great great entertainer. I'm, and I'm also, I was not only a dancer, I was a, one of his DJ way back. And I was, and he, we done a lot, lot of, many years, many years. He came, to, he came to my events, and I supported him, loving him. He's more than a rapper. He's more than a, a brother man. He's, he's everything. He's everything in the world. We only have a little bit of time left, but I definitely left the last for the best for the last. I got to come on this side right here and talk to him. Oh, oh, we're going we're gonna to come. We're going to come. But a last story that you have. I know, I know you have a couple of them. Well, since day one, I've been by his side in the hospital, mm -hmm. you know, with mom being there and talking to Giovanni back and forth. And, you know, and I was there for his last day of, of his last breath. Yeah. Um, this is his hat. He gave me this <laughs> hat. He, um, I don't give this hat to nobody. And um, the thing about it, uh, every time he used to see me, he used to say, have you been taking your medicine? Have you been taking your medicine? Because I'm sick myself. Right, right. And I said, yes, I've been taking my medicine, you know, and that was what's good about him. Not only that, I was the man, I was working where he was living at. So I was like part of the office crew. And when he passed away, I said to myself, I want to name his street after him. And together, I collected like almost like 8,000 signatures. And I got in touch with Lou, and he did his half. And I contacted Salamanca's office, yeah. you know, the Shrikas attorney's office, well, um, Ruben Diaz's office, yep. and eventually, you know, it got I together got and they did it. And, you know, I know he's resting in peace, yep. and I um, just want to let him know that he's doing this. Next week, I'm going to, Port um, to Florida, and I'm going to go visit his mom, because his mom is not doing well either, so I'm going to visit his mom. You know. Well, we got two more minutes before commercial break. I, I just want to sign it off by singing his favorite song. Yeah. So, can we do that? Yeah. Candela, 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 la casa se me quema. Candela, Candela, la casa se me quema. Que viva Puerto Rico, que viva Candela. And you know how it is. There it is now. When I tell you, I'm going to go to. Let's say it together. Morris, Candela, Joe, Dillis, Way. Let's go. 
Thank you guys for watching the LDM show. Thank you for his son for coming here and doing what his dad always does, giving me an exclusive all the time. Thank you for Lou and everybody else that is around. This is the LDM show here on Roku TV. We'll be right back with the concert.